Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and it's finally here, we can finally show it to you. It is the all new Google Currents. So let's launch it up here and show you what you're gonna see for the first time when you uh, fire up the app. So I have two accounts on my phone, so you need to select an account that you want to sync it with. I'm going to use my personal account just because. And so now you get a little uh, tutorial. Swipe through this quick tutorial to get started. Free editions for your tablet and smartphone personalized just for you. And that's very much what this is. So to get you started, we'll add a few free editions to your library. Cool. Uh, touch trending to view custom editions for recent hot topics. And we'll show you that in a second. Inside an edition, touch a tile to read the story fully. Very cool. Time to dive in, so let's dive in. Okay, and here is your basic home screen, and we've gone ahead and let all of these additions that Google added for us go ahead and load up. It can take a few seconds, even if you're on Wi-Fi. Um, you know, I'm not sure exactly how much data it's pulling in, but it can take a few seconds on the first try. Uh, the second sync much, much quicker. So here is the basic app. Up top you have these banner images, and oh look, there's Android Central. We're on this thing by launch. I love it, I love it, I love it. So you have banner images up here, and if you tap it, it will take you directly to that edition. But we want to go back and show you more of the home screen. So here are the editions that we have in our library. There's Mashable, that was preloaded. The Guardian, uh, Geographic. Uh, OK Go, <laughs> how cool is that? Here's Google Today, which will kind of give us some cool Google news. Very, very nice. Uh, we have settings on the entire uh, app. So as you saw, you can choose which account you want to sync it with. That's important. Text size, also very important when you're doing something like this. So small, medium, large. Right now we're on medium. Uh, sync settings, so you can change when it syncs, how it syncs, all the usual kind of stuff. If you don't want to do it over 3G, 4G, you only want to do it over Wi-Fi, you don't want to have to sync nearly as often, whatever, you can change it all in there. And that's about it, about Google Currents, feedback, and report abuse. So we are done. Uh, a couple other buttons we have over here. We can share things. We can share them over anything that you can normally share. Uh, there's Google+, Dropbox, Facebook, Google Voice, Google+, again. Or, sorry, that was recommend, wasn't it? Uh, Twitter, text message, whatever. You can also search, so you can search through articles with the little search button. Now you'll notice the uh, three little menu buttons down here. Now I'm using a Galaxy Nexus with Ice Cream Sandwich. So this app actually goes a little bit against the Ice Cream Sandwich design in that normally an Ice Cream Sandwich you would have a menu button up here. But we've got one down here on the bottom right and it's not actually doing anything right now. So it's something to be aware of if you're uh, using this on an Ice Cream Sandwich device. Let's dive in. Or actually before we do that, let's go to the trending. So you can actually see additions in um, articles that are trending, which is very, very cool. So, OnLive brings cloud gaming and custom touch controls to tablets, and that's from, uh, looks like an Indian site. So we're not actually uh, subscribed to that, but it is showing stories that are trending, so very, very cool. You can add more trends as well. Top stories, world, business, entertainment, sports, health, technology, and science. And you can also add more additions in your library. And they have a whole bunch of categories lined up here. Let's see, what do we end up under? I think we are science and tech. TechCrunch, all things DE, Mashable, and Gadget. Android Central, hello! Next web, read, write, web. So everybody you would expect, all the big names. And good to see us in there. So let's look at the actual meat of the edition. Here's our contents page. And there's that same banner image you saw a second ago. This is set up in uh, sections within each edition. So you have a main story and then on the contents page, it will show you the different sections. So there's news, reviews, Android apps, help and how to, Google Plus. This pulls in Google Plus, which is very cool. And videos. So here's how it works. It's really just pulling in RSS feeds. We'll show you how it's done in a second. So we have set up our own categories here. News, reviews, apps, help and how to, Google Plus, and videos. Videos is pulling in from uh, YouTube, which is a little interesting. Uh, Google Plus. So it's actually pulling in my personal Google Plus right now, sort of. Yeah, it shouldn't be. I actually just changed it right before we uh, did this video. But see, it's also pulling in what we're posting uh, on the Android Central Google Plus page. So very cool. There's our sneak preview of the wallpaper gallery if you haven't seen that yet. Going back to the contents page, uh, let's just look at a normal story. All these sections pretty much work the same way. So here's our news section, and you have a nice little list of stories with thumbnail previews. It actually looks a lot like Android Central, the website. Very cool. So again, this is all completely customizable when you set yours up. 
So here is our day three of Google's 10 day 10 cent 10 billion app download celebration. See the text, you can see the image. If you tap the image, it will give you a slightly larger version. And yes, this does all work in landscape. In fact, let's just do it in landscape for a second because that looks really cool as well. To scroll through an article, you just flip your finger. Very, very simple. And that's an odd article because there's not a lot of text. Let's try this one. Here's the one with uh, Eric Schmidt at the web and a little more text so it looks a little more normal. We'll flip it back up in the portrait. And again, left, right. Now this is a YouTube video that's embedded in there so let's see what happens if we just tap it. And look at that, it opens up YouTube and takes us straight to it. Very nicely done, that's the way it should be. Down at the bottom we have these controls so the back button takes you back. You have a content button that will pull up the contents page while you're reading another article and I really like the way that looks. Uh, once you're here you also have access back to the settings, search, and refresh. Home takes you home, share, and then next button takes you to the next article. Very, very cool. So that's it uh, for smartphones. Now, of course, this is also built into tablets, so let's take a look at that. And here it is. This is the uh, tablet version of Google Currents. It's actually the same app. You download it from the same place. But you, as you can see, it's really been nicely redone for a tablet size. This is the Galaxy Tab 10.1 with a nice big display. So again, you still have banner images, and you still have your library. You still have trending. Same principles. Everything scrolls quite nicely. Dive into the AC edition, and again, same principle on the contents page. You have a big kind of featured story, and then your different sections. Let's just dive into the news, and there is our day three of apps again. And there the image loads, and again, if you tap the image, you get a bigger version. Hit done, and it takes you back to the post, and you flip through like normal to read them. Very, very nicely done on the tablet. Like that a lot. Exact same settings, exact same setup. So there you go, guys. A very quick look at the very cool, very, very new Google Currents for Android. See you later.